Father, we just thank you so much for being here this morning, for having the opportunity to worship you together and also with those watching online. I just thank you that we have a name that we can praise, that we have a Savior who is stronger than anything that we might face today. I just ask that as we go forward in our worship, as we hear from your word, that we would focus on you, that our hearts would be drawn to you wherever we are, and that you would minister here in our presence this morning. pray all these things in your name. Amen. So welcome. It's great to see some of you here. It's also great to know there's many online who are also worshiping with us. Uh, they finally let me out from behind the camera, so here I am up front. It feels good to be actually playing the guitar again. My fingers are a little bit sore after a few weeks. But yeah, welcome back, and I'm excited to worship together with all of you. Um, we can always be just in prayer for Jerry. I know he really wanted to be here, but he has uh, some shingles this morning, so we could pray that he recovers from that. Just know, Jerry, as you're watching, we love you and miss you. We want you back here. We're excited to see what God might do in your healing. Uh, for this service, there is a sign-up sheet just for like this one. We'll release on Monday at 12, so be sure to go look for there if you're able to worship with us next week. And we look forward to, to seeing many of you back again. And then with that, let's just move into our scripture reading for this morning, which is going to be Psalm 13. We're going to do the whole psalm, verses 1 through 6. I will lead with the first two verses, and then you'll join me in the second four. It says, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. 
Light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say I have prevailed over him. Lest my foes rejoice because I am shaken. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. In that spirit of thanksgiving for what God has done, let's continue in worship together. I cannot comprehend the agonies of Calvary. You, the perfect Holy One, crushed your soul, drank the bitter cup preserved for me. Your blood has washed away my sin, Jesus. Be 
Jesus Messiah Name above all names Blessed All right, as we get ready for prayer, let's just take a moment, meditate on this past week, how good God has been to us. If there's anything you need to, be, uh, to bring before the Lord, let's take care of that as well. Heavenly Father, your people rejoice at the sound of your voice. You are calling us to worship, to praise your holy name, to feel your awesome presence, to glorify you as we worship you in spirit and in truth. Let your people join in one voice proclaiming, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that we turn away from the events of this fallen world, away from injustice, away from the corruption, away from the disease, despair, and death that surrounds us. This is the day when we turn to you, God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, all things you are the sustainer of, sovereign God, who ordained all that was, all that is, and all that is to come. This is the day that we raise your people before you, that they would know that we love them and that their heavenly Father cares for them. We bring Brian and Gabriella Conjure, Scott House, Mike Metella, and Terrence Ray, our pastor, Rich Cork, and his wife, Andrea, and our deacon, Ken House, and his wife, Connie. Bobby Eunice and his wife, Laura, who lead our youth ministry. We lift up Jana Golden, whose mother passed. Jason Howard, who was recovering from back surgery. And Pastor Jerry, who is suffering through a bout of shingles. And we bring Pastor Bob Johnson at Cornerstone Baptist Church. And our missionaries, Hector and Paola Garcia. Father, all of these dear brothers and sisters need you and others whose circumstances are known only to you this day need you. They need to hear some good news today. Our neighbors who are struggling need to hear some good news today. Our state and our country need to hear some good news today. Father, where is it to be found? Where is compassion justice, redemption, and deliverance found? To whom do we turn for healing, reconciliation, and hope? Satan would come to us as an angel of light and have us look to a fallen world for our hope. He would twist and corrupt what you have designed for good and turn us from hope to despair. But you, Oh, Father, how your people love those two words. But you have given us your gospel, 
your good news in the person of Jesus Christ. We only need to look to the cross and the empty tomb to see our hope. This is foolishness to the world, but an anchor for us. For the persecuted, Jesus was persecuted. For those wrongly accused, Jesus was wrongly accused. For those who are bullied, Jesus was bullied. For the homeless, Jesus was homeless. For those who have been abandoned, Jesus was abandoned. For those who have lost loved ones, Jesus lost loved ones. For those who face death, Jesus faced death. For those who fear death, Jesus conquered death and left the tomb empty. Father, this day we come together to be reminded of where our hope lies and the hope for the world lies. We come together to celebrate the good news of the gospel that you have given us in the person of your son, Jesus Christ. And we have come together this day to hear the preaching of your life-giving and hope-instilling word. Amen.